Louis Tomlinson's uh, moment of, of joy, of fatherhood, uh, came crashing down because he is, now, he is now in a custody war uh, with the baby's mother, Brianna Jungworth, and it seemed like everything was going to be fine between them. No, it didn't. When she had the baby, what, a month or two ago? The naivete of youth. Let me tell you yeah. what happened here because I got this. Uh, so um, last night, uh, his lawyers, I'm told, were gearing up to race into court this morning and try to get an emergency order establishing him as the baby daddy because Brianna, the baby mama, would not let Louis see the kid anymore. I am told the reason that that happened is because Brianna and Louie were arguing over how much money she'd get every month, and she was using the kid as leverage to say, look, until we work this out, I'm not giving you this kid. And so they were about to run into court late last night. They got together, the two sides, and they settled this thing temporarily so that he is going to be able to have the kid for several hours at various points during the week, no overnight visits because the kid is only one month old, but he will have his son for a couple of hours, several times a week, and in the meantime, they're going to work out the money that she wants considerably more than he's willing to give. He believes he's being more than generous, uh, but let me tell you how they have done this wrong, because if you guys are watching this, and if you're ever in a situation where you have a kid, and that the baby daddy or baby mama might be going bye-bye at some point, and even if you think things are okay now, you need to hear this. Okay, so get a pad and paper. I'm serious. Take down these notes. This I, is what you do. I'm going to give you good this advice. Is the, this is the ABCs of having a child uh, out of wedlock. Louis and, and, and Brianna kind of made an agreement where he would just directly pay bills from week to week. Just a verbal agreement. A verbal agreement, and he would foot the bill First here mistake. and foot the bill there, and sometimes it would be many thousands and sometimes it would be less. You need to establish paternity and a custody arrangement because if you don't do it now, things may be fine today, but they're not going to be fine maybe in three months right. or two years. Why not make the make the when contract you're getting along. when everybody's getting along? Now, and when everybody's pissed off and you try to do it, it's it harder. just gets absolutely gets messy. What I think happened is she was like, "Oh yeah, sure, pay my bills." You know, he got her a place to live, a three-bedroom place, and then she saw the photos of the house that he's renting in L.A., the twenty-one million dollar mansion and I bet she went wait what the heck I get a three-bedroom house and you get to live in a 21 million dollar mansion and I've got the kid and I'm taking care of the kid that's why I think she started to say well we need to rearrange this custody thing certainly a possibility but she knew going in that the guy was a multi 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 millionaire because he's in one of the most successful vans in the world so she had to know that he had a lot of cash and she was living in a nice house but it wasn't a palatial house for sure uh, also, he did get a girlfriend, and that does play into it just in terms of That's jealousy, jealousy and, starts. you know, I'm yeah. now stuck with the kid, and but also, you moved on and right. get to have the kid when you want to have the kid. Yeah. So hopefully that will help you, but okay. I'm telling Everybody you, take notes? it's good advice, I'm telling you. I'm Melissa from Buffalo, New York, and what I wanted to say about the situation is I think Louis needs to get better people around him to help him manage his life because someone should have told him from the start that he needed to drop some kind of agreement or contract saying, this is what I'll be paying in child support, this is what I'll be paying in assistance, and that should have been the end of it. But first of all, he should have gotten a DNA test, most definitely. Absolutely. And by yep. the way, by the way, um, Louis was going to be in court today that this was not just right. the lawyers going. He was supposed to be in court along with them, which means the, all the media hoopla and everything else. So there was a lot of pressure on everybody to settle this thing. So they've reached a temporary settlement. We will see if it sticks.